The way we look at the SME market in Oman and how it has grown, particularly in the past, uh, I would say, uh, five years, and uh, since uh, the symposium that we've held at uh, Seh al uh, in 2013, there has been an upward uh, movement towards supporting SMEs from both the private and the public sector. There are so many initiatives that are happening uh, in the community. Um, SMEs themselves have realized that, um, or let me say not SMEs, rather individuals in the community have realized that uh, starting a business is the way forward. Uh, so you have uh, people right now who are either were employed and decided to quit their job and start their business, or you have those who have taken an early retirement and decided to, to start the business, or you've got students uh, graduating from college and saying that I would like to be my own boss, so uh, they started uh, the business. Basically, in general, uh, we see that there's a very positive vibe in the community uh, when it comes to creating an SME uh, ecosystem. Uh, government organizations have realized that certain rules and regulations need to be slightly al altered and modified to accommodate the increasing demand of people who would like to have an ease in starting uh, the business, which is already happening. You've got InvestEasy, uh, for instance, portal, which is basically have cut down the process of registering a business from probably what used to be three months to only uh, two hours sitting at your desktop or using your mobile phone. Uh, there is more than one financing organization that uh, individuals could, uh, could approach, uh, whether it's a government-led uh, financing organization or institution, or private-led uh, financing institutions. Uh, technology has played a major role in encouraging number of uh, individuals to think about either adding value to existing uh, businesses or looking at something completely new that uh, probably has not been looked at in the local market. Um, there are so many media companies that are emerging right now. Uh, we are happy to say or to witness that uh, some of these companies are also serving you know, organizations in the neighboring countries. Um, I believe that we've got a lot of potential uh, in the local market. Um, um, we've got the ambitious, we've got a young population which would like to do more and give back to, to the nation. Um, the SME market is booming, uh, despite the challenges that uh, some might uh, say that uh, exist. I would say generally the, the SME market is really uh, in an upward kind of uh, trend. So I always get this question, people asking me, what business should we venture into? Uh, as simple as the question might be, the answer is not very simple because it depends on so many parameters. It, looks, it depends on the market situation, your capabilities, uh, barriers of entry, availability of resources, uh, whether it's financial or raw materials and so on. But what I can say is this. If you look at the top 100 products that are being imported towards Oman, then you could identify something that probably the local market needs. If you can find the resources to manufacture that locally and the capabilities are available, then that's your first bet. You could start a business in that particular uh, area. Uh, if you look at uh, number two, um, uh, existing businesses or existing services that are being provided and you believe that they could be done better. Maybe you've learned something uh, elsewhere, or you just believe as a consumer that this particular service or product could be presented in a better manner. So you could think of adding value to existing businesses, and that would create a new kind of line that probably have not been thought of uh, before. And third, anything that has to do anything with innovation and technology, uh, there is a vast market out there uh, you could come up with a complete something different that has not been thought of. Uh, just expand the way you are thinking and uh, maybe you could venture into something the next, uh, say, uh, WhatsApp or the next uh, Instagram or uh, a Snapchat. Um, so as I said, to kind of like uh, recap, is the uh, top 100 imported products towards Oman because that proves that there is demand for this particular product. 
Two, it's adding value to existing businesses or services, uh, products or services. And three is basically anything that has to do with technology and innovation. في بنك مسقط ندرك أهمية مساهمات المؤسسات الصغيرة والمتوسطة في تنمية الاقتصاد الوطني. لذلك فإن برنامج الوثبة لدعم المؤسسات الصغيرة والمتوسطة يعزز ويساعد في نمو وتطوير الشركات الصغيرة والمتوسطة في مختلف قطاعات الاقتصاد من خلال فريق متخصص وحلول تمويل متنوعة بالإضافة إلى التدريب وورش العمل والخدمات المصرفية المصممة حسب احتياجات كل قطاع وسواء كنت تعمل في مجال الإنشاءات أو الصناعة أو التجارة أو السياحة أو العقارات أو الخدمات أو غير ذلك فنحن نفهم جيدا احتياجات أعمالك وملتزمون بتوفير الدعم المالي وغير المالي اللازم لتطوير مشروعك تواصل معنا من خلال الوثبة @bankmasqa.com وسنقدم لك الدعم اللازم لإنجاح مشاريعك